Okay, I've got a space under my TV. So I want to fill it. I found a box full of train stuff. So, I'm going to build something that'll fit in there and be a little bit train like. Okay, this is going to be the side layout. All this here in this area, this is where the uh, the floral, the floor, yeah, the terrain will lay out. This is a wall. Now this is an option, but if I do that, it's only going to leave me two inches. But if I choose this one, it'll leave me four inches. You gotta remember, this is gonna be about 19 inches deep inside of a, under the TV. I got plus four because two pieces. This is only 15 inches. Plan on making all this area blue, and then it'll fade down to the green and gray color, which is gonna look something like that. They all be in this area here. I want to see if I can't paint a few trees in there. Happy little trees! And see where we can go from there. This is pretty much where the train will be sitting. So remember, this is a wall. This is not the the base. This is all going to be chicken wire with paper mache, and then I'm going to paint it and try to detail it. Put some little items down here. And you remember, this is going to be a cross, and then there's going to be another wall similar to this. So, there's the beginning of it, or partial beginning of it. I don't know if you can read that. There it is. Train cars are two and a half to three inches tall. I got plugs in the back that supply to the TV. So I measured that in a little bit. This is just a rough estimate of everything. It's 35 inches wide, 33 and a half at the top where the TV shelf sits, which would be up here. And it's going to be 19 inches deep. That's where that falls in, right there. So... We'll go from there. This is going to be a long one. Just went and got me some supplies. Some chicken wire. Some spray. Ugh. Side scenery. And two pieces. Bottom. Sides. Okay. Got all the parts. These are the sides. Well, the sides. Blocks to put in. So I have something to nail to. It's the back. More sides, and that's what I'm going to brad it together with. So let's do this. Okay, that's pretty much where it's going to look like, as you can see. Now the terrain's going to rise up, come up to there. Got it written down, you can't see a half inch, four inch, seven inch. The train will sit right here. The back train will go up to the top, well, just below the top. And this will be the very beginning of the slope. And I have little things everywhere. I'm hoping it'll come out right. Alright, got chicken wire stapled down. You can see the form of it. Oh, it kind of tricks the sun's playing out here. Overcast. See, so I've got it traced out. That's one side. I'll paint all that blue at the top, then fade it down. Then I'll do the other side. 
get those painted, let them dry, and then I'll uh, do the paper mache. And then we'll see what happens. As you can see, it fits pretty good. The uh, sidewall's been painted a little. Still want to add some extra trees to it and other such. But I gotta wait till I finish the terrain and then I'll be able to add to that. Okay, there it is. I want to get started. pieces getting air bubbles and it's not coming out right I might just peel it up and toss that and stick with what I'm doing first tears are really easy it's just regular old copy paper all right there it is there's the white paper white surface for painting and landscaping and all that stuff is next done with the shea alright I'm gonna go ahead and call this stage one got the paper mache on the frame and now it's time to paint lay the tracks put little trees in there and all the little things that I found in that box so hopefully and I will buy an engine I will put an engine up there so so far it looks pretty cool I'm even gonna put a light in there all right okay now this is the box let me zoom back out there we go all right this is the box that I've got found a bunch of stuff in Glare really bad. So we fix that. There we go. No, nope, not much better. There we go. See, it's got all a bunch of little train stuff in it. But let's see what else it has. Yeah, these are all parts for other little pieces of train engines and cars and such. But that's track stuff. Can't really tell. Balsa wood making certain things and stuff and there's a book of history but there's a bunch of little things in here Let's see a point out see how that is and two more little smaller boxes that's got paint <clears throat> oh I can smell the paint Ugh. there we go please don't fall ah. there we go a bunch of little cool stuff that's the that's landscape there you go can't really see that, but see the little barrels in there. Let's see. A uh, water tank for a train. Got to put all those things together. More barrels. Ah, 
little hand car, track, there's a caboose, die cast even, this thing's pretty heavy. All sorts of little things are in here, but that's the stuff and whatever doesn't get used is heading for eBay.